Assalamu alaikum friends, today I am going to explain the media stenum, its boundaries, contents and the numeric for memorizing the contents of the media stenum. So the media stenum is actually the space between the flora of the two lungs or it is the space, it is the central, uh, central part of the thoracic cavity. The uh, media stenum is the central part of the thoracic cavity which is extended from the sternum up to the vertebral vertebrae. So I am going to take the sagittal section of the mediastinum which is I have shown here. The mediastinum is extended from the sternum up to the uh, T1 to T12. So uh, uh, the sternum is actually uh, divided into three parts, the manubrium, the body and the zipoid process. There is a certain angle between the manubrium and the body of the sternum which is called the sternal angle uh, and I am going to draw a, an imaginary line from the sternal angle up to the lower border of T4 which is the thoracic plane. So the area just above the thoracic plane is the superior mediastinum whose boundary is anteriorly bounded by manubrium, posteriorly bounded by T1 up to T12 vertebrae and inferiorly bounded by imaginary line which is the thoracic plane and superiorly by the thoracic inlet. The contents of the superior mediastinum are the left brachiocephal equin, right brachiocephal equin, the superior vena cava, the thoracic duct and the left superior intercostal vein, left superior intercostal vein, the arch of the aorta, the left subclavian artery, the left common carotid artery and the brachiocephal trunk and the uh, trachea and esophagus and thymus is also part of the superior mediastinum so if you want to memorize the contents of the superior mediastinum we have a track the track is beds and tent so b for the brachiocephalic right and left vein a for the arch of the aorta t for the um, thymus and s for the superior vena cava the t for the trachea the E for the esophagus, the N for the nerves, mainly the phrenic and the vagus nerve. And phrenic uh, uh, and vagus nerve. And this is the uh, imperial mediastinum, uh, which is bounded interiorly by the body uh, body of the sternum and zipoid process of the sternum, and posteriorly extended, uh, posteriorly bounded by uh, T5 up to T12. So the posterior mediastinum is further divided into uh, three three parts: the anterior mediastinum, the middle mediastinum, and the posterior mediastinum. The um, anterior mediastinum is actually the area just present anterior to the pericardium of the heart, and uh, the uh, anterior mediastinum anteriorly formed by the anterior boundary of the anterior mediastinum is formed by the body of the spinoid and the Zipoid process and posteriorly by the uh, and posterior by the pericardium of the heart and inferiorly by the esophagus and superiorly by the um, thoracic plane. So the contents of the anterior mediastinum are fats, limb nodes, and the internal memory artery, which is the internal memory artery, which is a branch of the subclavian artery. In the middle mediastinum, which is actually the space occupied by the heart and pericardium of the heart, is the middle mediastinum. And the posterior mediastinum is actually the space, the space just present uh, posterior to the heart and anterior to the T12 up to T, T5 up to T12 vertebrae. So the contents of the posterior mediastinum are the esophagus. This is the esophagus. This is the descending aorta, and this is the esophagus vein. And here is also is thoracic duct. So if we want to memorize the um, contents of the posterior mediastinum, we have a track. The track is EDA, EDART. So E for the esophagus, D for the descending aorta, A for the esophagus vein, and T for the thoracic duct. So this is the this is all about mediastinum. So thanks for watching the video.